In this video, we continue exploring the best platforms for creating AI videos with consistent characters. Today, I'm focusing on OpenArt. A platform allows you to create consistent characters in multiple ways, including from a single reference image. They also offer image-to-video conversion through Clink 1.6 integration, making them a one-stop shop for your all AI video production needs. I would like to thank OpenArt for sponsoring this video. Let's get started. After registering for the platform, you will be directed to the homepage. We have two main sections, image creation with editing mode and storytelling mode. Once you click on create image, you will be directed to the AI image generator. On the left side, you will see AI model picker and prompt box alongside some rendering settings like aspect ratio, image to image, star reference, and things like that. From this button here, you can switch to a different AI image generation model. For example, there is Flux Realism, which is one of my all-time favorite models. After that, all you need to do is filling up the prompt box. For example, I wrote a detailed prompt for a cinematic photo of an ancient Egyptian warrior standing in front of a grand temple entrance. I specified some details about the appearance of my character. After that, I chose aspect ratio of 16 to 9 and there are more options that you can choose from and then I hit create. My text to image generation is ready. You can see in detail here. It's a photo of an ancient Egyptian warrior and I will use this later as a character reference. There are a couple of things you can do. If you are generating with Flux Realism model, I would highly recommend you to upscale your image. You can do that through the options here. For example, this particular image is upscaled already four times, and that's why you can see 4x option is already inactive, and you can choose two times upscale or four times upscale, and you can decide if you want to upscale face or not, it depends on your choice if you want to keep the coherence of face or not, or if you want to enhance it. Of course, upscaling the face may slightly change the face detail, so it's up to you. It's actually a very good option because face upscale is optional, and if you click on edit button, you will be directed into the editing mode. Here you will see some standard options like in painting and expanding the image. Here I particularly found interesting the option called edit people because this mode allows you to correct hands and enhance face quickly. If there are problems with the accuracy of details of a face or a hand, you can quickly select the hand, you can choose edit people and correct hands, and you don't even need to write the prompt here because you choose the correct hands option, and OpenArt then will fix the hand for you. Options are ready and you can see it pretty much corrected the hand quickly for us. I want to also show you quickly the in-painting mode. By the way, image editor of OpenArt supports external images as well. So you don't have to only use the generated images in the platform. You can also upload images from your computer. Here, for example, I had this image, which didn't exactly turn out the way I wanted. So in the in-painting mode, I will quickly change this face here. I wrote a wolf hat as the prompt. And you have some options. You can choose quick in painting. There is a flux option. It's using the flux in painting engine that you can choose. There's also advanced option, which allows you to also add an image guidance. So you can upload an image, for example, image of a character, and it will change the face. Let's try the flux option with the wolf head as a prompt. And I want two images to be generated and let's hit create. And our images are ready. You can see, I think this option looks a little bit better. So I will proceed with this one. And just by one click, you can save this to the history. Let's go back to consistent character creation, which you have the highest interest. So under storytelling mode, I will start with consistent character option. And later we will jump into image to video. When it comes to consistent characters, you have three options. First, you can create a consistent character using a text description. Second option is you can start with a single image and using this single reference image, you can create multiple scenes with the same consistent character. And third option is you can use multiple images, a typical LoRa training workflow. You can upload images of the same character, the photos taken from different perspectives, and you can train a LoRa model. I have already one character trained. You can see Anubaris, which is created with the single image workflow. Let's start with text description. 
I will create a character and I will name my character Luna. In the next step, you need to write a description for your character. Some physical attributes, outfits and accessories would be sufficient. So I wrote a female alchemist in a vintage laboratory, leather gloves and goggles, Victorian steampunk attire. And as a style, that's the cool thing because we can choose between digital art, anime, 3D or photorealistic. We have more options actually, Pixar, Clay, even GTA. I will choose photorealistic for this character and I will hit create previews. And then it will generate three previews for you that you can choose from. And of course, if you are not happy with any of the characters, you can generate another grid with three more characters. I think I like this first option here. I will select the first option and I will hit create character. Then open art will train a model based on this reference image. And then I can simply use this as a character reference. After training process, my character Luna is ready. It will appear under the character section. Now I hit create and this option will direct me to image generation mode. And I can simply write a prompt and generate new scenes with my character Luna. Let me show you that. I choose prompt and you will see the Luna is already appears here. And I will write is experimenting with a green elixir in the vintage lab. From experience, I know that you need to increase a little bit the character reference weight. This is important. I will keep prompt adherence around three. And as an aspect ratio, I will choose landscape and let's hit create. So our image is ready. Well, here we have one good option. And here we had a little bit of problems with anatomy that we can fix using the edit mode. But I think we can proceed with this one. We can, of course, change the context quite radically. Let's say Luna is demonstrating in a street action. And now you have a political demonstration, very steampunk looking. And you have a bunch of people together with Luna. Okay, so this was the workflow where you can start with text description. So now let's go back to test other consistent character workflow. I'll show you start with one image workflow. You have character name. I simply write Anubaris and I'm uploading a single reference image. This particular image as a reference point. And then when you hit create character, the training will start. So I already did that and trained my character. Now I'll show you how to create some scenes with Anubaris. I will hit create. And now we are in the Anubaris' character mode. And let's try Anubaris playing drums. Let's hit create. And we have a new context with the same character of Anubaris is playing some drums. This looks more like dancing, but we can accept this one. It looks really good and it keeps my character consistent. Additional to directing your scene with text prompts, you can also use pause your character option. So let me show you 3D pausing feature. In order to do that, you choose pause your character and then open pause editor. Here I'm choosing an athletic male. Then I'm opening the pause library and you have many, many options here that you can use. Of course, you can also use this 3D model here to adjust the pause of your character. But for now, I will stick to the pause library. For example, leaning forward, right hand supporting. I choose this and you will see it automatically adjusts the 3D mannequin here. And I choose aspect ratio landscape and I hit update pose. And as a prompt, I'm writing Anubaris is preparing for attack one hand on the ground. And I increase the weight a little bit and I hit create. So here you can see Anubaris is pausing in the way that exactly we want it. And it may be a good idea to upscale a little bit. And with upscale, it will look much better. As you can see, I generated a bunch of scenes using this particular workflow, starting with a single reference image. The next thing I want to show you is image to video using Clink integration. Let's choose this image where our character is playing a guitar. And all you need to do is choosing image to video option. And then this will take you directly to Clink 1.6. This is a fantastic transition and I actually quickly created a mini film in one hour using this workflow. You can see at the end of the video, I have my reference image here. So I will write the man is playing the guitar while camera is orbiting around him. And I will hit create. 
then this will create a video from this image basically video creation starts so our video is ready let's see it so we have the man playing the guitar and camera slowly orbits around him it's pretty good a third workflow that I mentioned before is starting with the multiple images. This is a custom training model. And for this job, we select start with four plus images. I will write my character name, Ebru, and I will upload images of Ebru taking from multiple perspectives. I have this particular folder prepared, images of the same character taken from multiple perspectives, 11 images ready to go. And I hit create character. My character model is being created. The training starts now. My character is ready. Let's create some scenes with my character, Ebru. I'm gonna use a prompt. I wrote, Ebru is aiming with a sniper rifle on top of the roof, a cinematic photo. I have landscape as an aspect ratio and I hit create. All right, and my image is ready and it looks simply fantastic. It managed to keep the character coherence and faces consistent. And it gave me exactly what I asked for. Let's do another one where we have close-up shot so we can see the face much clearer. I wrote close-up shot. Ebru is sitting in a cafe, a cinematic photo. Let's hit create. And here's my character. I can zoom in so you can see a little bit better. It perfectly kept the details of the face, hair, simply a fantastic job. And at this point, I can upscale this image. Let's hit 4x upscale without not changing the face. It looks much better after upscaling. Let's do another one with 3D posing feature. Let's modify the pose. We have a female character and let's choose legs crossed. You can literally modify the pose through this 3D scene arrangement. First of all, I updated the pose and now I'm arranging it a little bit. So let's zoom in a little bit to our character. It's literally like setting up the camera for your scene. Now the scene is updated. I will hit create again. The body looks a little bit too big, but you got the point. It's a new feature. I think it's a good step forward in terms of creative control. It's not perfect, but we managed to get the consistent character. Leave my people alone, beast. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. If you want to learn more about creative intelligence, click here.